Hey Rick, I'm Jake with Camping World here in uh, Meridian, Idaho. Just wanted to uh, do a quick video for you on this Fleetwood Tioga. I uh, hope you like it. It's a 2007 31W. As we come around the front here, the tires are in good shape. Uh, you won't have to worry about tires anytime soon. You, just, you will see that there's a couple decals that are coming off here, which is pretty normal for the age. It's got a nice uh, two-step electric step there. Got storage underneath. Propane tanks right here. Outside speakers and stereo CD player. You have a little more storage back here as well. And then storage again here. You'll see that your freshwater tank and stuff's located all right there. It's easy to winterize. Um, easy to get to. Come around the back here, you have a nice uh, 5,000 pound hitch with the seven way plug. So if you want to pull a boat or something, you can do that. Looks like they got a little close to a boat backing up there. Generator is located right here. It's a 4,000 watt Onan generator. Sorry, 3600 Onan. Down here is where all your water is located at. You'll have uh, fresh water. You'll also have all your sewer dump. Uh, 110 power is all located right here in this uh, general area. The nice thing about the Tioga is uh, this particular compartment right here is built into the slide out so when the slide out's out you don't have to reach underneath the slide to get to it. And this one's a nice big long uh, compartment as well so if you have a ladder or something like that uh, makes it a lot nicer to be able to get into that particular compartment. You notice the slide out here also has a cover on it, so park underneath pine trees and stuff like that. You don't have to get up there and sweep that off when you run it in. Makes it a lot nicer. It also has a gel coat cap on the front rather than just the fiberglass like this one that's next to us here. It just has the fiberglass cap there. This one here has a gel coat. It's a little better insulated as well as uh, less potential for leaks. Nice big awning as well. It's almost a full length awning there. Come on inside. Here in the cab you have uh, microfiber seats. They're all made by Flex Steel, which is uh, an upgrade. It's a higher end seat. It's got the CD player, cruise control, uh, air conditioning, all that good stuff. Nice big bed that uh, fits here. Got, even got a little bit of storage here as well. This bed, uh, this makes into a bed as well as you have a nice little spot there for drinks and stuff as you're cruising down the road. All your seat belts are located under there as well. This makes down into a bed. You have seat belts on this side as well. Got storage, good storage on both sides of the dinette. It's all wood doors as well. They're not a cheap veneer door. Over the kitchen, you got good storage here. This right here is your um, King Dome satellite, uh, satellite controller. So once you get to wherever you're going, you can turn on the generator and fire up the uh, King Dome satellite, and then you'll, you can have uh, satellite TV here. Got good storage underneath here as well. Water, heat, water heater bypass is located under there as well for winterizing. A good storage in all these drawers. They're full extension, ball bearing drawers. They're all real wood instead of uh, chipboard or wafer wood. Nice three burner stove with a 9000 BTU burner. This is a nice place to boil your water and stuff when you're camping. Also has a sparker on the burner so you don't have to lose all the hair off your hands when you're lighting the burners. Microwave, TV, you also have some more storage here, DVD player, 
nice six cubic foot fridge and freezer. It's all adjustable as well. Then we come back here into the bathroom area. Got a nice little shower with a skylight. Porcelain toilet instead of a plastic toilet. It's got the built-in sprayer on it as well. Nice good storage here in the bathroom area. And then you got a nice uh, walk around queen bed here. Easy to make, easy to get around. Hanging storage on this side as well as that side. And then you got some nice drawers there as well. Rick, this is the 2007 Tioga. I hope you like it and I look forward to talking to you. Thank you.